Hi. One of the biggest challenges for blockchains is scalability, or the ability to process more transactions in a shorter period of time. Bitcoin struggled to process transactions and commissions went up accordingly. The same thing happened with Ethereum. However, this is one publicly available blockchain that has already been developed with sharding working. That blockchain is Zilliqa which had its own private ICO in late 2017 and a small public offering in January 2018, making it one of the first new tokens of 2018. We'll tell you more about Zeal cryptocurrency in this video. So subscribe to our channel and watch our other videos. So we are starting. Zilliqa is the only blockchain that has functioning segmentation, which allows the blockchain to scale linearly as the network grows. The long-awaited Zilliqa Core network has launched on the test network for most of 2018 and went live in January 2019. Since then, the development team has continued to improve the security and speed of the network. This is a fundamental change in how blockchain achieves consensus as the segmentation solution scales the size of the Zilliqa network. In theory, Zilliqa has no limit to the number of transactions per second it can process. In in practice, however, there are limitations because the number of transactions it can process depends on the number of nodes in the network. As of August 2019, the network is capable of processing 2,828 transactions per second. Ultimately, however, it is reasonable to think that Zilliqa can process tens of thousands of transactions, perhaps even hundreds of thousands of transactions per second. The Zilliqa team also stated that the blockchain will eventually support smart contracts. This is a major technical hurdle as executing smart contracts on a segmented network poses many problems. One inherent weakness of blockchain technology is its inability to scale well. The problem arises from the fact that as the number of nodes in the network grows, it becomes increasingly difficult to achieve consensus. Looking at the network from a human perspective can be helpful in understanding the consensus and scaling problem that blockchain faces. It is not a perfect analogy to talk about blockchain consensus but you understand how consensus becomes harder and harder to achieve as the network gets larger and larger. And that's where the scalability problems start because the size and speed of the network are inversely proportional. So as one increases, the other decreases. The solutions studied by the blockchains are consistent of increasing the block size so that more transactions can be confirmed in each consensus round or by removing some information from the blockchain altogether. While these solutions will help solve the scalability problem in short term, they will never scale to the extent needed for blockchains to process thousands or tens of thousands of transactions per second. It's just a temporary measure that doesn't solve the underlying problem. To fix scalability, the entire blockchain architecture needs to change so that the network size and network speed no longer correlate inversely. And this is, must be done with security in mind. The security of the network should be a compromise to achieve greater speed and more throughput. Zilliqa solves the scalability problem with a proprietary solution that allows more transactions to be handled as more nodes enter the network. It builds the blockchain architecture from the crown up. The model they use has a hybrid consensus protocol that increases throughput with every additional 600 nodes in the network. Zilliqa blockchain works by dividing the work done on the network with an increase in bandwidth for every 600 new nodes. This is theoretical. In practice, they find problems with broadcasting when the network scales to more than 1 million nodes. However, we are currently far from the level in any existing blockchain. Ethereum, which has the largest network of nodes, currently has about 25,000 full nodes. The Ethereum network with its 25,000 full nodes is only capable of processing 15 transactions per second. Zilliqa, on the other hand, ran tests on its private test network, which reached 1,218 transactions per second with only 1,800 full nodes. If you double the number of nodes to 3,600, the throughput also increased to 2,488 transactions per second. The network was able to successfully scale to 2,828 transactions per second. They use a solution called sharding, which with Zilliqa works by dividing the network into groups of 600 nodes, each known as a segment. Zilliqa uses a hybrid consensus mechanism consisting of proof-of-work and Byzantine fault tolerance. Proof-of-work is not used as in traditional blockchain mining. Instead, each node starts by completing a proof-of-work hash. This does not result in a blockchain reward, but instead is used to establish the identity of the node. By forcing machines to establish their identity, the Zilliqa network 
avoids any potential C-bill attack when attacker could create multiple identities in an attempt to overload the network. Once the identity of the nodes has been confirmed through proof of work, a node can be assigned a segment. Segments each consensus through Byzantine fault tolerance, which is a high bandwidth consensus mechanism because it involves finality. Most of the 600 nodes in the segment must agree on the microblock. Once the microblock has been confirmed and added to the last block, it becomes the only block that can reference the previous block. Because of this, branching is not possible in the Byzantine consensus on fault tolerance with finality. There are a growing number of blockchains that successfully use Byzantine Byzantine fault tolerance to achieve consensus. These include NEO and Hyperledger, both of which use a version of proven Byzantine consensus mechanism. Making a transaction segment in a blockchain is pretty easy. Transaction checks are easily assigned to different shards, and each check is performed separately. The shards do not need to communicate with each other thanks to the DS committee. However, the same cannot be said for smart contracts and dApps running on a segmented blockchain. A smart contract often relies on external sources of data, functions, and other variables. To do this on a segmented blockchain would require potentially huge amounts of messaging between charts. The bandwidth and processing power consumed by this messaging negate the benefits of segmentation. The current state of blockchain technology has led to the widespread belief that segmented states cannot be made efficient and secure. If contracts were executed separately in segmented states, it would leave the network open to all types of potential attacks, as well as contamination between segments and possible problems in reconciling transactions. After nearly two years of work, Zilliqa released smart contracts on June 10, 2019. This allows developers to write and deploy smart contracts on the Zilliqa blockchain using Skilla's secure smart contract language. Smart contract Contracts have many impressive features. The Scylla language comes with static analyzers that check for errors in each contract before they are launched. Scylla comes with its library of standard operations, eliminating the need to rely on external programming libraries. Scylla balances obedience and expressiveness, which allows formal reasoning about contract behavior. There is a very clear separation between the various operational components, such as communication with other contracts and computation. This will prevent hacking incidents such as priority or DNA. DAO attacks. Zilliqa is not only a new and unique blockchain, but the development team has created a new functional programming language known as Scylla. Zilliqa's smart contract language, Scylla, is secure by design and addresses several known security vulnerabilities in existing languages. As a functional programming language that allows for static checks and formal checks, developers will also be able to easily perform thorough checks to make sure their smart contracts behave properly. Scylla focuses on making functional programming more secure and standardized and does so by separating state and function. In other words, it is a programming language that can distinguish the actual computational work of the contract and the communication aspects of the contract. One disadvantage of Scylla language is that it's not Turing complete and cannot be used to create applications that require conditional statements and certain types of loops. This remains the subject of formal logical proofs and is the key to security. It allows users to make sure the contract is secure before using it, which is one of the keys to widespread adoption. There is a token for the Zilliqa ecosystem known as Zilling. Those familiar with other DApp platforms such as Ethereum and NEO know that the token is needed as an incentive for the mining and as a tender to pay transaction fees, but perhaps most importantly as gas to fulfill contracts. Zill was created as an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum blockchain. This was done because the project needed funds for development, but the public core network for Zillica had not yet been released. After the release of the core network in January 2019, Zill's tokens were released and users must exchange ERC-20 Zill tokens for their own Zill tokens. This can easily be done by placing ERC-20 Zill tokens on a participating exchange and then withdrawing Zill-owned tokens into a wallet compatible with Zill-owned tokens. This token exchange procedure will eventually end and the ERC-20 Zill tokens will become obsolete, so users are advised to exchange ERC-20 Zill tokens for their own Zill tokens as soon as possible. 
Seal began its ICO with a private funding around that raised 12 million in Ethereum. Shortly after, a sharp rise in the price of Ethereum caused the funding received to exceed 20 million, meaning the ICO reached its hard limit. Zilliqa canceled plans for a public round of the ICO, but because of the community interest, it allocated 4,445 Ethereum for a public sale in January 2018. That public sale ended in January 4th, 2018, and raised 22 million and sold tokens for 0.00381. One each. Zeal is traded on several exchanges. You can currently buy, sell, and trade Zeal on several exchanges, including Binance, Upbid, Bithump, Huobi, and KuCoin. The liquidity on these exchanges is well distributed, which means that trading is not dependent on one exchange. You also have a decent level of liquidity in each exchange order book. This means you can easily execute your orders with relatively little slippage. Some Zilliqa wallets have been issued and can be used for your own Zill tokens. The best recommendation for Zilliqa team is the Moonlet wallet, which is a blockchain independent wallet that supports Ethereum and Zilliqa change. It is recommended because it has been audited by BitSentinel and passed the Bug Bounty program and Bug Crowd. The Trust wallet also supports Zilliqa, as does Ledger Hardware wallet. Thanks for watching this video. Check out the channel for more videos.